Hello, I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts, and I am doing the hashtag Make Art with Martha, which is hosted by Martha, Martha Makes Art. And on the 20th of every month, she gives us a prompt. And for June, it was sweets. So I have these adorable little, uh, I don't know when these photos were or what they are from a digital kit. But look at her eating this. Look, I don't know if she's eating sweets or she's looking at them in the window, but that's so cute. And this young lady is working in the sweet shop. All those sweets laid out in front of her. That's yummy yummies. And this little boy, he's ornery. He looks like, I'm going to get me some sweets today. <laughs> that's so fun. And obviously she is picking out a cake. All of these sweets look so, so yummy. Now I thought they would be the perfect size for pockets and junk journals. So I'm gonna go ahead and start out with cutting the little half moon there, or half circle. So you can tell that they're pockets. I think I can probably cut two at a time. Yes, two at a time will work and I'm not too fussed if they're not perfectly in the middle. If you've been with me long enough, you know wonky is where I live. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. There we go. What do we need to do first? We need to ink them up. So let's get out the handy dandy platform here. And I will get these inked up. Just using vintage photo to begin with. antique them up a bit. She might need a little more. There we go. Like that. That looks good. That's a good start. This one, whoops, needs a little more. There we go. If you just layer up your inking, you'll get to whatever color that you want, to the look that you want. So I like the way they look so far. I think I want to add black to the edges too. So let's go ahead and get that done. That looks good. They're starting to look aged and like they've been stored in the attic for a while. I think that's looking really good. What I want to do is add a label. These are my labels that I made. So let's see what we have. Let's see, want to add labels. Just pick the ones out that maybe it would look better on this side of him. There and Let's see if we have any different ones. Let's see about I don't know, one side or the other of her. And this one will, uh, I think, will look better on this side. There we go. That's going to look really nice. So what I want to do on these is, as you probably already are going to guess, use the spider web stamp. So let's get the platform, stamping platform back out real quick. I don't know if they'll all fit on at the same time. Let's just do two at a time. And let's see, it's black. Yes, it is. Let's go ahead and ink it in black. Well, they may all fit on there. Let's see. Well, we don't have to do them straight up and down. We can do them like this. Yes, I think that will work them close together. Yes, that will work. Let's get the lid and just give them a smush. Not too fussed if it's perfect at all. Just one. Awesome. That's nice and creeped up, isn't it? I love it. Just going to round corner these little labels. 
Okay, they're all round cornered. Let's go ahead and get them inked up just a little bit. I think I've already inked the all the edges. Let's just get these corners, round corners. Let's get them back out and see what we have here. Okay, we'll get one for each corner and that will work perfectly. What we're going to do is just dress these up a bit. So I have black lace for the for the side where we're going to put the um, label. <laughs> and I want it to be just like this. I think I might just do them one at a time. I might not be able to just lay them all out. So we'll do it like this. And this, and we'll have the label here. I think that will work out nicely. Just like that. I like that. And let's go ahead and get started here. I think that since we have the purple here, we're going to use the Villainous Potion. I think that will look really pretty with this one. Let's go ahead and a little purple here. Just going to do some subtle purple on it. That'll be nice. And we don't need to ink anything past that. So let's just get some purple on here. Just a little. So you can just see how pretty that purple is. I think that looks really nice. There we go like that. Now I need to glue this lace on. Right there. And then we want this to be here. So let's get some glue on that lace real quick. Well, actually, I'm going to staple it and then put some glue because I don't need to glue the whole thing down because I am stapling. If you don't like staples, you can glue everything or you can sew everything, but I'm just going to staple. I love stapling. It's just something I like. So that's what we're going to do. Just going to hold it on there. I want some of that to be poking out under the label. So let me see how far down the label will be. Okay, we need some more farther down. Because of this right here, I want a little bit to hang over the top and you'll see why I want specifics in just a moment. Get a hold of this. Just staple it at the bottom. And I'm not going to pull it up. I'm not going to stretch it out. Just want to leave it like that so it'll still, the seam binding will still be crinkly because we have something we want to do with this little piece on the top here. Let's get this stapled. And I want this staple to go this direction. This is really not that fussy to do. It just, I'm very particular where I want it to be stapled. There. So this is what I want it to do. I want it to flop over like that. That way we can hang a charm there. That'll be really cute, won't it? That's cute, just like that. But I want to put the label on here. Pull this down. I want the label to be just so you can see the lace on the edge. That's how we want that. But I want to add a bat to it first. Let's see, do we want the bat up there? I still want to be able to write on the label, so let's just pop that bat down right there. I think that'll be really cute.
and this is for hashtag MakeArtWithMartha. It's a cl open collaboration. You can pop in and out once a month. Martha will give a prompt on the 20th of the month. And you have the whole month to create whatever you would like to create. Just be sure and tag Martha at Martha Makes Art and use the hashtag Make Art with Martha. That way we can find you and Martha can pop over and see your videos. It's so fun to see what everybody comes up with for her prompts. Now, right there is where that is going to go. So before I glue that on, I'm going to go ahead and get a bowl pen and pick out a charm to hang on here. Let's see, what charm do we want? I have, I strategically picked them out so they would lay flatter. I have tons of charms, but I didn't want a huge, big, bulky charm like a, a gummy bear or something that's really big. Do we want that one? I like that one. Or do we want the keys? Those keys are cute too. Let's see what we think here. Well, I like them both. <laughs> then I have a little broom. That doesn't really show up very well. I have a silver broom. Any of those are cute. Now I have to make up my mind and just have a regular key. Too many options. <laughs> I think I'll go with this one. I think this one's really cute. Right there. That's why I want this to hang over so we can put our bolt pin on it and just kind of flops around. I like that. I like to have movement in my journals. So do we want black? A black bolt pin? Oh yeah, that will work really good. This one popped on here. I like charms that are the same on the front and the back, so you don't have to be fussed about which direction they're going. Just going to thread it in there. Thread it? No, we're going to pin it. <laughs> now, is that not adorable or what? There, I like that, all nice and floppy. That looks really, really cute. I like it. Oh, I didn't round corner these. Let's round corner these edges. Don't need to mess with the other ones because they're under the lace. This is being stubborn. There. <laughs> I will round corner. <laughs> Uh, let's get our purple back out and we'll get these corners. Let's just use purple on the corners. Think she has enough purple? Yes, she does. It looks really good. So what we need to do is just cut this kind of at an angle just so it's not perfectly straight. So I don't really care for that. Oh, there we go. Put that in my little scrappy bin. That is so cute. And then let's put our little bat right here. I'm gonna add some more purple. I think we need to purple it up a little bit more. Let's get this out. Do the edges. There we go. Just want it to be a little darker than what we're getting. There we go. Just keep trying and you'll get exactly the shading that you want. <laughs> Yay! That's pretty. I like that. Okay, so I don't need glue on these two edges. I just need it on the these two edges.
Just making sure that the placement is right so that the little bit of the edge of the lace, the black lace, does show. And this is what it looks like. Isn't that so adorable? All you need to do is put glue around those three edges and glue it down for a pocket in a journal. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of them together and since they're all going to be pretty much similar, I will put them all together, glue them all together, and I will come back and show you the end result. Everything is glued on and bulb pinned on. And this is how they look. This is my the very first one I did. This is my prototype. And I got in my little baggie of beads that Martha sent me a long time ago. I think actually last July maybe. And I found this gorgeous little orange heart. Is that not adorable? It might be a golden yellow orange, but it's so cute. I think it turned out adorable. There's one. Then here is the little girl that's licking on her fingers because she sees the candy in the window, the sweets. And I put the little heart with the keyhole and there's the key hanging, little bat there. Then we have this one. Looks like the shopkeeper. She's selling sweets. Got the beautiful heart key hanging there. I did red since we have red around there and the purple here. And I just left that one in vintage photo. And then we have another purple one. Looks really pretty. I like the purple. Then we have one more. The little boy. And I really wanted to use my card charm, the four little cards. It was so heavy, it was just a bit of bowing this over. So I went for the keys. Maybe he's the little shopkeeper too. I think that really, they really turned out cute. All you have to do is glue them on. They're ready-made little pockets. And this is for hashtag Make Art with Martha. It is hosted by Martha at Martha Makes Art. And the prompt for June was sweets. And I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful crafty day.